Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to grab or how to scrap Walmart products into a CSV. So you can easily import them into your other stores like WooCommerce or Shopify or Amazon or even other Walmart uh, store. Okay, so first of all, uh, I'll show you I'm, I want to scrap a category or a search keyword, for example, robot vacuum cleaner or anything uh, your choice. So currently it's 1000 plus products in this search, but I'll show you how to grab all the first page products. This is the first page, all these first page products into a CSV. So first we will add a Chrome extension. You will need Google Chrome browser for this. I already opened Google Chrome browser. Now click on these three dots and click on more tools, extensions, and click here, open Chrome web store and search for web scrapper dot io and press enter open the first one this one web scrapper with this icon and click on add to chrome add extension to confirm it's adding to your google chrome browser okay after installing it to your google chrome browser close all these extensions tab and uh, if you cannot see it here, then click on these extensions and pin the web scrapper to the bar here. So you can see it's already installed now. Uh, while we are on the search page, right click and click on inspect element. If you see inspect element below the page, then it's good. But if you don't see it uh, and it is just like this, if you opened it uh, for the first time, then uh, you will not be able to open the web scrapper because uh, it's for the bottom talk. So click on these three dots for the spec element, not these ones. Click on this and click on dock to bottom. And you can uh, see with there is a web scrapper uh, extension here now. So copy this URL uh, the with including the search term within the URL and click on create sitemap create sitemap and paste the URL here type in the name click on create sitemap now we will first uh, get all the single product links from this page so click on uh, in the while in the root click on add new selector and type single change it to link and select multiple because we will get all these links from the first page. Click on select and start uh, selecting the elements. Choose the first element and the second element and all other elements will automatically be selected. Scroll down to the bottom to confirm all items are selected. Okay, click on done selecting and click on data preview to confirm if you have all the URLs. Yes, we have. Click on save selector. Now uh, we are on the route and we got single product. Now it is time to go to a single page, Any open any of these products because all uh, products have the same uh, fields, for example, title, price, description. So click on one of them and it's now the single page here opened uh, in the sitemap click on single so uh, the route will change to single page now now every field you add here will be uh, treated as single product it will get the data from the single product so click on add new and type the name of the uh, selector its title and leave it as text click on select and click here Click on done selecting. And click on data preview. You can see the title is here. So save it. Now I click on add new selector in the single again and name it as price, leave it as text and 
choose the price data preview and the price is here save it now we will get the number of reviews so click on add new reviews text select click on save selector now we will get the images so uh, we will get these uh, small images and then I'll show you how to uh, make them larger so click on add new select image we will leave the first one because it's a video change text to image and click on select okay it's getting by SRC set which is not good Okay, this one is okay click on data preview and we got the image let's open this to see if we got the image right okay it is let's remove the size parameters to see if we have uh, the full width image okay save it uh, at the end of the video I'll show you how to remove these parameters uh, within the Excel file or the CSV file so leave it here save and scroll down to the description the about section click on add new selector will be description and change it to HTML because we have some styling within the description as well so click on select and click on the parent div of the description and see if all covers yes all are covered done selecting and save it now click on sitemap and scrap now wait for a while because it will first get all the uh, product links from this page and then it will uh, start getting data from the products one by one uh, like this and uh, it will be completed within a couple of minutes or uh, even five minutes or ten minutes uh, but it, it's depending on your um, connection your internet connection speed so uh, I'm pausing this video and uh, will resume after the scrapping is completed uh, do not clo close this browser window because this is getting the data uh, if you close this then the data will no longer be accessible so uh, let's wait for it and let's see uh, how you can get the CSV file and then in the CSV file I'll show you how to convert these small images to the larger ones so uh, please stay with me okay once the scrapping window is closed you can now easily get the sitemap click on export data now it's giving you two different formats XLSX and CSV normally we need CSV files but you can download is as XLSX to organize the data uh, in the form you need so for, let's just get in the CSV format after all I'm uh, opening it with an Excel Microsoft Excel uh, that is why no matter I am um, downloaded in CSV or uh, XLS okay uh, you can see we have the link we have the title we have prices we have reviews uh, you can see there are some uh, encoding issues UTF-8 encoding issues you can uh, save this as UTF-8 CSV and uh, this issue will be gone so from the price we will select the now control C press control C or copy it and open the find and replace paste that now here and select this column and replace all and all nows will be gone now come to the image section where uh, we need to get rid of this so right click here copy and find and replace click on replace and paste it here and uh, leave this other one empty now choose this column and click on replace all and 47 replacements let's see if we have 47 47 rows okay 48 is because we have a header row as well now save this and let's check uh, an image if we have the right image copy this and open it in a browser 
and it's a full size image so this was all for today's video i hope you learned something please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss my future videos thank you